Bloomies are forever. Hello, I'm Melissa and I sell part-time on eBay. I also make YouTube videos and today's video is going to be an in-depth tutorial step-by-step step on how to use and install the Dymo Label Writer 450 Turbo. Now the 450 will be exactly the same. So if you have a 450 or a 450 Turbo and want to print shipping labels on eBay, this is the tutorial for you. I will have timestamps down below in the description and what that means is if you click on a timestamp, it will take you to the exact spot in the video in which you want to go. So if you were just looking for how to print labels once you have the software installed, go to that timestamp. We are going to first look at the Dymo. The Dymo comes with the actual printer. This is a thermal printer, meaning it doesn't take ink. It burns into the paper and you will never need to replace any ink or toner. Also included are three cords. The first cord is the USB. This goes into any computer with a USB. It is not wireless and plugs into the back of the printer. The second and third cords go together and this is the power cord. You simply put those together like that. This goes into the back of the printer and this goes into a wall. Let's take an in-depth look at the Dymo. The first thing we are going to do is take a look at the inside. This is where you're going to load the labels and I will show you how to do that. This spool simply goes right there. We are going to plug in the label maker. So again, if you haven't connected these two cords, go ahead and do that. Let's unwrap this part get these all ready. So the first cord is a USB cord. One end of the cord looks similar to an old telephone port and the other side has a USB which will be plugged into the computer. The bottom back of the Dymo has two plug-ins and the first is going to be this end. The second is going to be a round circle. And one end of this cord has a matching round circle and the other end goes into the wall. Now that the two cords are installed, your printer is ready to be plugged in. Now for loading the labels, we are not going to plug it into a computer. We are simply going to put it into my aqua extension cord, but basically this goes in any wall. And when you plug it in, the Dymo will make a little noise because I don't yet have labels in it and blink a blue light. It will continue blinking blue until we get the labels installed. The labels I use are the 99019 and I buy these on eBay much cheaper than the Dymo brand. They're a generic brand and they work well. For 150 labels on the roll, the cost is about three to four dollars and I will leave that link below. The first thing we're going to do is put the labels on the roll. Most people load toilet paper where it goes over the top. However, for installing the labels, we're going to reverse that and make it be able to pull from the bottom with the back showing. Let's take out the spool and take off this part. 
This comes apart in two pieces. There is a flat end and an end with the spool. The end with the spool goes on the left hand side and our labels go right on that spool. Again, pulling from below with the back facing forward. You then put on the end on the right side and make sure you get the right side pushed in as much as possible so the labels don't show any of the spool. Once you get the labels loaded onto the spool, this part isn't tough. If it is not going in, you most likely have the spool reversed. It will not load that way. I think one of the hardest parts of learning how this label maker works is loading the labels. I'm going to take this part out to show you where the labels go. When you look at the label maker, there is a back indented raised part. Then if you turn it, you will probably see a bar, an opening, and the curved piece. The label goes behind this curved front piece and behind this back piece. When you load the labels, <laughs> take two. When you load the labels, and you make sure you have this correct, you're going to want a fairly square, straight edge on your labels. I always cut the label in between to make sure it loads nicely and you're going to feed this on top of that raised part. When you get it in the right place, the label is going to feed itself. Let's try that again. There's a curved piece and then part of a bar and you get it behind the bar. If you have a hard time loading the label, Simply pull it out, give it a few seconds until the blue light turns off, and plug it back in. You can try loading the label while it's making that noise, or even try when the label maker is off. It'll pull itself through. You know you have it in the right spot, when you hit the blue button and the printer will feed an extra label. Once you have that, close the label maker back up. Like I said, that's probably the hardest part. This roll holds 150 labels and when you turn it, you can see the back of the label. So when you press the button, the sticker is on the front of the label and the back paper is on the back. Let's take the printer to the computer and plug it in. The next step is to bring your Dymo to your computer. Take the USB and plug it into any USB port on your computer. And plug in the cord to a power source. As soon as you plug in the Dymo to a power source, the blue light should come on. And since I've previously fed the labels, it is not blinking. The next part of this video, I am going to capture my screen so you can see exactly how to set this up. 
So I am going to turn on my screen recorder and the first thing I'm checking just to make sure under my control panel items, I want to see if I have Dymo already installed. If you know you don't have Dymo installed, you're good to go. But if you're wondering if you have an older Dymo program installed or software installed, go ahead and open up your control panel and go to your programs. Just, it's, it's alphabetized, so you're good to go. As long as there's no Dymo, which I have uninstalled mine, we are good. Go ahead and Google Dymo. And the first non-ad to come up is Dymo Label Makers and Printers Labels Card Scan Label Writer. And this is the website if you didn't want to enter into Dymo. Click into this. And this is what Dymo currently looks like. This is dymo.com backslash en dash us. So we are on the US site. I do not know if this would work if you are in another country. We are going to hover over support and go down to software drivers and user guide. It is the top link. Go ahead and right click your mouse and scroll down. Under the bottom, once you've scrolled down completely, it should be all software drivers and user guides for all products. We are going to go ahead and go to the third item, which is label writer, label printers. And the model we have is 450 Turbo. Again, if you've purchased a 450, it will work click that one. But for this tutorial, I will be using the Turbo. Click Find Downloads. The page that pops up will have some drivers and downloads. Now I have a Windows computer. I hated the Mac, but if you have a Mac, you will go to View All. I am going to the newest software, which is 8.7.3. Go ahead and give one click, and a pop-up should appear saying save file. If the pop-up doesn't appear, you might have a toolbar on the top of your page blocking your pop-ups. I am going to go ahead and save file and I can see the little down arrow. I'm with Firefox as my web browser, so my downloads are right up top on the right-hand side. If I click that down arrow, it looks like I have about a minute left. So we are going to wait until this is completely downloaded, and if it doesn't automatically go to the next screen, I will go ahead and click into this, and I will show you. While we're waiting, I have used Dymos probably for 10, 15 years with eBay, and they work exceptionally well. I would highly suggest the Dymo. I know people that use this exact Dymo, including people with 3,000 items that are shipping hundreds of products a week, and they love it. I also know people that have a Dymo 4X L that sell on Poshmark, Amazon, and eBay who love that machine. This one, the 450 Turbo or 450, work really well with eBay, but they are not compatible with Posh or Amazon. So if you're looking into printing labels with Posh, you would have to print to a regular printer or purchase the Dymo Label Writer 4XL. There's usually some pretty good deals on the 4XL, which include a ton of labels and the label printer for $250. The 450 Turbo I've found as cheap as $45 to $50 on Amazon. Let's give a check and see on Amazon what the Dymo 450 is running. 
It's running $80 for the 450 Turbo. This is fairly high in my opinion. You could probably find one on eBay used cheaper. You can see I have purchased one, two, three, four, five of these. One was my mom, so I've purchased four. I use them for giveaways. I purchased one in 2017 for $49 and the last one purchased on November 11th was $69. So keep an eye on that. It looks like our download is finished and nothing popped up. So I'm going to click this down arrow and the file, my last file, which was the Dymo software is ready to be opened. It says completed and if I hover over it, it says open. So I'm going to right click my mouse and nothing happened. There we go. Give it a couple seconds. Do you want to allow this app to make changes? Yes. Yes, I do. I clicked that and now I'm going to select English. That should already appear in the pop-up click OK. It's preparing to install the software and this will take a few seconds. OK. Go ahead and click Next when you get to the welcome screen. Let's pretend we read all of this. Yes, I agree with everything. Click I accept the terms. I'm not going to print this. I don't know who prints terms and click next. It's going to default to my C drive under program files. I'm going to leave this alone and click next. I want the complete software. I have no idea what custom software is. So let's click next and click install. The screen is going to give you the status bar and it will take several minutes. That took about a minute and a half, two minutes, and it is complete. So I am not going to click either one of these boxes. I don't care about the readme file, nor do I care about the installer log. So I'm going to right click finish, and we are finished setting up the software. I have a fancy new icon, and if I double click into it, it will bring up the software. Now, with eBay, you never have to click into the software, but if you are looking to print labels, you can make fancy labels. So if you are labeling a bin for dresses, sizes, extra small and small, you can do that. Make sure your label size is correct. The 99019 labels for eBay are seven and a half inches by two and five sixteenth inches. So you can go ahead and add a whole bunch of images, shapes, barcodes. You can do a ton of things. I don't really use this software, but there's a whole bunch of labels. If you wanted to put different size labels and make address labels, you can go ahead and do that. If you wanted to make fancy addresses, Let's go ahead and print this one and you can hear it's printing. You won't be able to see it, but it looks exactly like what's on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and close this fancy software. Now the next thing I'll need to install on my computer is Adobe DC writer reader, Adobe DC reader. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> Is that what it's called? Reader. Let's see, what is this called? Okay, I just typed Adobe Reader into Google. This will allow eBay to print the Dymo labels correctly. It's a bridge for eBay and Dymo. If you already have a DC Reader on your computer, 
you might get away with not downloading this, but I highly recommend it if you're having trouble printing labels. Go ahead and click Adobe Acrobat Reader DC Download. And I uninstalled this for the purposes of this video, but I have had this installed and it is great. I'm going to uncheck this, which ex installs the Chrome extension. I hate when programs install other things besides the program. I, I don't want that to happen. I don't even know what that is. I don't want a Chrome extension. Now I'm going to click install now. This will also take a few moments. I like the color of the toolbar. <laughs> it matches my house really well. Okay, we have a pop-up. Again, if you didn't get this pop-up within a few seconds, you might want to look to the top toolbar. Hey, you can see all of my, t my toolbar things. This is Publix, buy one, get one free. <laughs> okay, we are going to save the file. And again, it's going to put it under this down arrow. So go ahead and click the down arrow. I use Firefox. If you use a different web browser, it might be in a different location, but Firefox is right here. And we are going to need to open the file. So this was our software and this is our Adobe DC. So we are going to give that a single click. Do you want to allow this app to make changes? Yes, yes I do. A pop-up box will begin and installation should start. Again, the status bar is so helpful. We are going to let this do its magic. Okay, looks like we are ready. That took about a minute or two. And we do not want to launch Adobe Acrobat Reader. I don't need to launch it. I'm going to uncheck this. If you forget, it's no big deal to shut it down. And finish. And even though I unchecked it, it went back to the Adobe page. So I'm going to close out of everything. And again, I have a fancy new icon. I'm just going to drag those to my folder. My husband and I both have folders, so I like a very clean page. And we are ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and click into my eBay. And now I need to print a label. Now, I have all of my items on a three-day auction, <laughs> so I actually haven't had anybody purchase anything because every single item is on auction. You can't buy it now. So for the purpose of this video, I am going to print a second label to this person and then I'll go ahead and void it out. So a few things. I have blurred out the ship to address. It doesn't matter what I'm shipping at this point. Um, make sure you click into printer and label receipt preferences, which on the print page is in the upper region of the right corner. Go ahead and one click into that. If you haven't already changed your printer label size, you want to choose 400 turbo. I don't have a 400 turbo. As you already know, I have a 450 turbo. But the most important thing is the label size. This is a fairly old eBay program. They haven't updated the printers in years, but I use the approximately 2.4 by 7.5. If you have another label writer, you're going to want to choose, for example, a 4 by 6 which is the Dymo 4XL prints a 4x6, but the Dymo 450 Turbo prints a f around a 2.4 by a 7.5. So I'm just going to choose the 400 Turbo and save. 
I don't need to print a packing slip. I don't need to print a receipt. I should be good to go at this point. So again, it's not going to matter what the label is. I'm going to go ahead and purchase postage. When I hit purchase postage, it's going to take a little bit because this is the first time we've run the program, but eBay should go immediately to Adobe, which happened automatically. So on this eBay page, I can't see the label. I don't want to hit print label. It should automatically open Adobe Acrobat Reader DC, which was that bridge of a software we installed. If this doesn't automatically happen, and it should, but I have walked people through this, you might need to open the label window and it would then default to Acrobat or you might need to set it up. If you have problems with this, go ahead and comment below. I can probably walk you through it. You might have an individual problem rather than a general question or problem. So I need to make sure the printer is the Dymo Label Writer 450 Turbo. This is Adobe reading exactly what printers I have. For instance, I have the HP LaserJet which is my regular printer. So this should have all of your printers. This might not look the same, but it should read that you have a Dymo label writer. It's going to show what the label prints. And as you can see, the highlighted portion is not matching the label. So I might have to change the settings a bit. You're going to want to play around with this and make sure it fits. Again, you're just changing settings. So landscape is usually what I do. You can see that the custom scale, oversized pages would print the actual label. Actual size does not fit does. I'm going to go ahead and choose the paper source by PDF page size, and that gets me the best looking label. This one, the shrink oversized pages, this grayed out area is not going to print, which is no big deal because the barcode is in the highlighted or printable area. But this one leaves a little bit less gray. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the paper size by PDF page size. I don't even know what that means. And I am going to go ahead and leave it on landscape. Auto does the same thing. We, the Dymo prints with thermal heat, so you never need any ink. When the labels run out, you just throw a new roll in there. So there's no need to click save ink nor print in grayscale. So I'm going to go ahead and print. And we have a label. You can see that the barcode has showed up as well as the QR code. Is that what that's called? I don't know. And this will be easy to stick to a package. Now, because this is the first time we used the Acrobat, this will never show up again. I'm just gonna click out of that. So I'm going to go ahead and close all of my tabs and I'm back to the eBay page. If I had another item, I would click ship your next item. I don't have any other items. So what I'm going to do now, because this person now thinks they have two dresses on the way, is go back to my eBay and go to shipping labels and void that shipping label. That was the last label I printed. Select reason, other, doesn't matter, void the shipping label. In a couple days, I'll get that money back in my account. But if for some reason your label doesn't print, Again, I've never had an issue with that with Dymo. 
you can go ahead and void it. And we are good to go. If you have any questions, let's get you back up here. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I hope this was helpful. You do not need a Dymo to sell on eBay. In fact, you don't even really need a printer. I know people that sell on eBay from their phone and go to the library to print labels. But if you wanna make your life a little easier and wanna invest 50 to $100, the Dymo 450, I love it. I'm not sponsored, I just love it. Makes my life so much easier and I don't have to buy ink ever or toner. I use a laser printer, so toner's pretty pricey. Okay, take care. Bye. We hope your day is blooming with joy.